The next assessment is uh, the modified OBAs and what we're looking for is how well the, a chain of muscles is transferring uh, the, the, the load from one side to the other. Uh, now this polyarticular chain uh, starts off at the diaphragm, uh, it's psoas major, iliacus, down to the TFL, uh, vastus lateralis and biceps femoris okay and what this does is this chain transfers weight from one side to the other when Claire steps forward okay and back what actually happens is the diaphragm from above is stabilizing okay and the TFL uh, the vastus lateralis and biceps femoris anything that the ITB basically uh, attaches to that anchors as well and it's, it's the psoas muscle and iliacus muscle, which actually, just step forward again, which actually ro counter-rotate the pelvis as she steps forward. So as you go forward, you can see the pelvis goes like that and back. It brings her pelvis forward anteriorly on the left and the hip actually flexes, it abducts and externally rotates. Okay, and again, and back. Now, it's very common on the left-hand side for that chain, just step forward again for me, please, and hold it, to, to be switched on, and it holds the pelvis in that rotated uh, position. Okay, and back again. Gravity acting down on the body uh, and the, the arrangement of the ligaments, if there is weakness in the abdominal muscles, particularly the oblique muscles, um, because of the arrangement of the ligaments of the diaphragm, uh, gravity acting down will cause a right side flexion and a left extension at the spine, okay? And it's that left extension, as the spine extends, the, the, the pelvis flexes on that left-hand side. We have the, the patient inside lying, okay? So here we're testing the left-hand side here. So the left-hand side is pointing upwards, so you bring both hips to 90 degrees. Okay, take the feet out of the way. Okay, and this is a modified OBAS. So we've all seen the OBAS test where we're testing for the, the length of TFL and ITB. Okay, this is a modified OBAS. So what we're doing is we're actually blocking off in all three direct uh, planes of motion. So we're, we're blocking off in the sagittal, frontal, and transverse plane. So we're, we're, we're blocking the hip and holding everything nice and stable whilst we go through the OBAS test. So that's your starting position. Okay, get right in there with your rib cage to, to hold uh, the pelvis in position. Line up the trochanter, okay, especially on that frontal plane. So, so holding that in position. And as you flex, abduct and extend, okay, this bit when you abduct, what you're feeling is, is you're feeling for the quality of motion yeah, okay, the, with the, the femur inside the acetabulum. And you want a nice sort of smooth movement without it being impeded by a bony block. What we are assessing here is the position of the whole pelvis and how it sits in relationship to the whole body. A positive modified OBAS tells us that the acetabulum on the positive side is pointing more anteriorly. As a result, when the therapist tries to abduct the hip, the neck of the femur makes contact with the posterior aspect of the acetabular rim and you feel a bony block. It's an OBAS test, so you're testing for the TFL. So if the TFL or ITB is tight, you will feel a spring, you will feel a resistance. But what you're feeling in terms of the modified OBAS is whether there's a bony block of the, the, the neck of the femur on the acetabulum, okay? In a positive modified OBAS, you'll feel a bony block and it won't go any further. The, the, the diaphragm and the psoas muscle which, uh, are very much connected. The, the psoas muscle goes through the diaphragm. And in, in the case of the uh, uh, positive modified OBAS, is those two are tightened and, and holding tight together. And what we want to do is try to disassociate the movement of both of those. And we do that using the breath whilst doing the pelvic probe. Um, so as Claire 
brings the hip up, so as, as she brings the hip up, that's it. So it contracts, okay, but she takes a big deep breath, okay, and that pushes the diaphragm down. So they, you, they're working together at that point, okay. And then as Claire extends the hip, she breathes out, okay, that pushes the diaphragm upwards whilst lengthening the psoas muscle in it. That disassociates the movement of the diaphragm and the psoas muscle. So if you do that again, breathe in, okay, contracting together, and then breathe out, diaphragm moves up, psoas muscle moves out, and it disassociates those two muscles.